Hey guys, John over here at Powerhouse, and Jerry's over here running a Jeremy Cycles 2332, right? Yes, it is. And um, it's all ready to go. We're going to run it one more time, put it on our dyno, and this one makes how much horsepower, Jerry? About 175. And the great. About, about square on the yeah. torque. Yeah. All right. So everything's dialed in. It's got the black powder coated cylinder tins, doghouse shroud. It's got the A1 stainless deluxe exhaust, the dual 44 Webers. And um, it's all ready to go, so we'll go ahead and run it one more time. You want to fire it up? Yeah. All right. Let's fire it up. See how it sounds. we tested so put it under load and it went on three cylinders uh, all of a sudden so we checked it out and uh, we always check the coil wires sometimes those get loose and then we check our spark plugs uh, number one spark plug wasn't on all the way we hope that was it let's try it again
So after a little bit of work, we finally found the problem with this. So what it was doing is when we came up to the high RPM under a load, we get into the main circuit, the motor would just lay flat, flat now. And um, we kind of chased a few things around thinking we found it and uh, finally, figured, finally figured it out. So what I have here is the main jet and it wasn't seated all the way down into the, into, it screws in and we have a main jet holder and a main jet and they just press together. Well, these threads are just brass on here. And when you're taking jets out, in and out, and you have these air cleaner bases on here with the little tri the little T piece here, it's really hard to get these in and out. You kind of got to move these to the side a little without breaking the tabs off. And you can set this down in there and then you tighten them up. So you really want to get it started by hand and then get the screwdriver in there and then tighten it all the way down. What I noticed in checking this is when it gets all the way down to the close to the bottom, this side was getting a little tight, which means those little brass threads got a little boogered up and it wasn't going all the way down, seating itself against the pocket. And when that happens, basically the main jet sits up, it runs real rich and it fouls out the plug and that's what it was doing. Um, when we jet these, we always jet these carburetors as we build these motors, uh, we usually jet it. So I'm pretty sure the problem came from us and I think what happened is when we jetted the carburetors, we did it with the bases on which makes it a little more difficult to get to the jet. And when it went in, it went in a little crooked and that's more than likely what happened. But something new to us, we, we never seen that and, and gave us a lot of problems trying to solve that. But either way, it, it, it's fixed now and um, we'll go ahead, we've already ran it, but we'll go ahead and run it again on camera to, to show you that it runs good. Thanks for choosing us and um, appreciate everybody else for watching. Thank you.